today with another video and as you can see by the title this video is going to be all about tea as an avid reader I'm sure a lot of you can relate that it's there's nothing better than sitting down with your book getting a comfy blanket there's a little bit of a chill in the air and you have a nice warm cup of tea so one thing you might not know about me is that I actually don't drink caffeine so all the teas I'm going to talk about today are completely caffeine free herbal teas so without further ado let's jump into it every year I go to a tea festival in Toronto called the Toronto Tea Festival and there's a lot of really interesting and unique teas there one of the ones that I picked up at the last festival is called turmeric teas and these are really interesting because they have actually turmeric in the tea and turmeric is supposed to be really healthy for you has like a lot of health benefits um, it's really good for you but this one is the organic ginger tea with turmeric and this one is the calming organic lemongrass tea with turmeric and this company is just called turmeric teas they're really awesome so check them out if you're interested in learning more about that so the next tea that I'm going to talk about, I feel like it should be like a cult classic because it's one of those teas that nobody really knows about, but once you find out about it, you cannot stop talking about how good it is. And this is by the brand called Flora, and it is the Holy Basil Tea. Now, do not get me wrong, this tea is not made with actual basil. It's with another plant that is actually called Holy Basil, but it doesn't taste anything like basil at all. It is so delicious, like, if you're feeling stressed out, this is the tea to get. Like, every time I'm having a stressful day, I come home and wanna read a book to get out of my reality, then I drink this tea. The next tea that I have is by the same brand, it's Flora brand, and it's the Roibus, um, ginseng Roibus tea. And this one's really good because I think ginseng has like a little bit of an energy booster, so it gives you a little bit of energy if you're like, trying to like really stay up late into the night and read and you can't have caffeine like I would choose this one alternatively if you want to go to sleep and if you're having a hard time sleeping this is the tea I would recommend to you it is by sage this is a Canadian company and they make like herbal remedies and that kind of stuff um, using essential oils but this tea is called sleep well and it is um, like I think there's like chamomile in here and other things, but it, the, just the taste alone of this tea will make you want to drink it all the time. I wouldn't recommend drinking it like in the morning because it does make you sleepy, but this tea is like oh, so delicious, you guys. Seriously, get this tea. And the next tea that I'm going to talk about is the Bengal Spice Tea by Celestial Seasonings. This one, if you cannot have caffeine, is really close to like the equivalent would be a chai tea. It's not exactly the same, but if you can't drink caffeine or if you just don't want to have like a really caffeinated beverage before you go to bed or something when you're reading, this is the tea. I swear, it's really delicious. Like there's like cinnamon and spices in it and it's so good. I would highly recommend this in a replacement for a chai tea. And the rest of the teas that I have for you today are from David's Tea, which is another Canadian company, I think, but they, they have stores in the States. They started out as a Canadian company though. So they're really good, um, they're popular, really every mall you go to has a David's Tea in Canada. So the first one that I have is the, I'm gonna show you these at the same time because they're kind of similar. This is the Organic Spearmint and this is the Organic Peppermint. Um, they're close, but if you've never had a spearmint tea, there, it's really good. Like, try the spearmint if you like peppermint. If you're not a fan of either, then don't bother because, I mean, it's a, it's an acquired taste sometimes. Peppermint tea is my favorite of all time, though. The next tea that I'm going to recommend from David's Tea is the Organic Serenity Now. Um, this one's just another really calming tea. There's lavender in this one, so it's kind of like nice to relax at the end of the day and just take your mind off of things. Um, get this one. And another one from David's Tea is the Organic Egyptian Chamomile. It's just a straightforward chamomile tea. I'll try and show you, oh my gosh, what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally just chamomile leaves. So it's so good. It's just the pure chamomile leaves. You can't get any more straightforward than that. And I have saved the best for last, and it is because 
ever since I had to stop drinking caffeine, I've been trying to find, you know, caffeine-free substitutes for the teas that I used to love. And thank you, David's Tea, for finally giving me my all-time favorite tea. Can you guess what it is? Leave a comment below before I tell you what it is. Try and guess my favorite um, black tea that I used to drink all the time before I had to stop drinking caffeine. And I'm about to reveal it right now. So leave a comment first. And that is the Earl Grey rooibos tea. I swear, this is the closest you will ever come to finding an Earl Grey herbal tea. And it's so, it's changed my life. Like it saved my life because I love herbal tea so much. I mean, I loved the Earl Grey tea so much. Just the smell alone. Oh my gosh, like it just brings me back to the days when I was drinking regular Earl Grey tea and it smells so good. You guys would not believe how close this comes to tasting like a regular Earl Grey that I save it for like special occasions when I really am feeling down and need to just kind of like feel that nostalgia warming my body. This is the tea that I reach out for. Anyway, that is a wrap with my teas that I drink while I'm reading. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I'm hoping to bring more videos like this. If you want more in-depth tea videos, leave me a comment because this is just a fraction of my collection. I actually have a whole cupboard full of teas. So if you guys want to see my entire tea collection, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you would like to see that. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.